Hey, welcome to the Automation Guild, where we help you perfect the art of creating automation awesomeness for any software development or testing project that you're on. I'm Joe for JoeCommentary.com and TestTalks.com, a blog and podcast dedicated to all things test automation related. So think of me as your personal Obi-Wan Kenobi, guiding you and training you to be the hero in all your test automation efforts. And today I want to make a big announcement that I just heard from Simon Stewart. If you don't know Simon, he's the main contributor to Selenium. And he just announced that Selenium 3.0 is officially released. Uh, this is kind of huge. I have went to the Selenium conference in Boston in 2013 when they announced that Selenium 3 would be released by December. And two or three Christmases went by and no Selenium 3. So this is a huge, huge announcement uh, in regards to the effort that the team put in to get Selenium 3 out the door. So if you head on over to SeleniumHQ.com, you'll see that the language bindings are starting to be updated with Selenium 3. They've had Selenium, the beta version, available for the past few months, but the official version was just announced and released today. So you want to check that out, SeleniumHQ.com. So if you're wondering, you know, what, what does this have to do with me? I use Selenium. What do I have to be worried about? And really, I'll be honest, uh, if you've just been using the web API, the web driver API, and your framework's based on the WebDriver API, you're all set. There's nothing really you need to do. You just import Selenium 3, and it really should be a seamless integration for you with hardly any, any hiccups. Uh, really, it's the people that still use Selenium RC that are gonna have an issue. But if you're using WebDriver API and you've been using it all along, uh, really, it should be a seamless upgrade for you. I think the only thing you need to look out for is if you're using Selenium Grid, there are some configuration and parameter changes that, that are in place, but either, even that is, is pretty easy. So big announcement, it's a big announcement, but whether or not it's gonna affect you that much, probably not. Unless, like I said, if you're using WebDriver API, you should be all set. But if you're still using a Selenium RC, uh, what they've done with Selenium 3 is they pulled out all the Selenium core implementations. So they pulled out all of, all of Selenium RC and they're replacing it with WebDriver uh, compatible components. So if you're using Selenium RC, it, it's a, and it shouldn't be a surprise, they've been warning us for years that Selenium RC is going away, but today is the day that it's gone. Like I said, you go to the Selenium HQ page and the it's not even available for download anymore. So if you're using Selenium RC, you wanna move over as soon as possible. So this will have a big impact on you. But as I said, it shouldn't be a big surprise. This is something that they've announced for a while. Also, like I said, based on Simon Stewart's latest email, that's how I found out that Selenium 3 was released, that uh, really the biggest change is a lot of bug fixes. And if you're using WebDriver, you should not be impacted that much. Uh, but I've been getting a lot of questions from people I work with. Hey, should we go to Selenium 3? Everyone's really excited about Selenium 3. And it, it's, it's a huge, huge change, but it, in terms of impact to you as a Selenium engineer, if you're using WebDriver API, it really should be seamless and not that big of a deal. So I'm just curious to know if anyone on, on the call right now or in the uh, live stream has any questions on Selenium, if they plan on moving to Selenium, any issues. But like I said, uh, what they've done with Selenium 3, it looks like they're just really cleaning things up. And I think they're moving towards Selenium 4, where they're really going to try to implement uh, the W3C standard that they've been working with to make it an official uh, WebDriver standard that everyone will follow. And once that happens, it's kind of cool because all the browsers now will be responsible for implementing their own Selenium implementations and they'll start owning it. So it's really a huge thing that they're moving towards. And like I said, it may not seem like a big deal, but this is a huge, huge effort by the Selenium team. The Selenium team, it's all open source. So these people are not paid. They spend their nights and weekends working on adding bug fixes, debugging uh, Selenium, and so it's a huge effort. So a big thank you and kudos to anyone involved with Selenium, especially the Selenium 3 uh, push to get it live. All right, so that's all I had today. Like I said, I just wanted to first uh, explain what I'm doing here is I'm creating a live stream and trying to get used to the live environment. This is the same environment and setup I'll be using for my live conference called Automation Guild. It's gonna be 100% test automation online. Uh, it's going to be a hybrid in the sense that I'm going to have 25 speakers, but they're going to have pre-recorded sessions. And so when you go in, once you sign up and register, you'll be able to access the first day's sessions and watch them. And then 
what I'm going to do for the live piece is I'll have the authors available or the speakers available to speak during the conference live. So once you watch their session, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask actually ask them live. And the reason why I do that is I really hate webinars. I, I really hate when someone does a webinar and it's all choppy. So to give you the best experience possible, I've asked the speakers to create some pre-recorded videos so I can edit them and really give you the best of the best. And you also get the benefit of, of the live aspect of during the, the conference week that you can actually interact with the speakers live and get your questions answered. Also, I'll be live during that whole week of the conference. And so this is the setup I'll be using. Here's my set and I have all the video and audio equipment. So if you have any concerns with this video or audio, let me know. And if you want to know more about the Automation Guild, make sure you head on over to automationguild.com and sign up for more info. I plan on going live with the registration on November 1st. So once again, I'm Joe, and my mission is to help you succeed with creating automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good.